This video is brought to you by Recall. Instead of putting together a random run of the mill list, I wanted to focus this episode on the free. Ever since my Mac apps episode, there has been a constant stream of requests for a Windows counterpart. So, here it is. Today I'm diving into a lineup of cool and genuinely useful Windows apps and being more of a Mac person, you might catch me trying to sneak some of my favorite Mac inspired features over to Windows. So for this episode, I'm on the latest Surface Pro 12 with its ARM based chip, but everything I'll show you works just as well on both ARM and x86. Most of the apps are free, but there are some paid ones which I think are worth shortlisting. As always, everything I mention will be linked in order down in the description and let's kick things off with WinToys, which is a free app and it honestly deserves a lot of love just for that. In short, WinToys unlocks the full potential of Windows doing a ton of genuinely useful things like uninstalling an app, even the ones that pretend they can be uninstalled or have no uninstaller. This feature alone makes it worth having. On top of that, I can monitor active services and it lets me control them, but what I really love is that just like on a Mac, I get a clear visual list of all my startup items that I can easily turn on or off. So yes, I can finally stop Microsoft Teams and phone link from auto-launching upon booting Windows. But there is more toggling system-wide transparency or saving the exact state of Windows when hibernating, of course. But what I want to jump to are the tweaks that I've been geeking out ever since I installed WinToys. For example, hiding the desktop recycle bin for a clean minimal workspace or cranking wallpaper quality to 100% so my blurred lines wallpaper pack finally looks the way it's meant to without color banding. It's just amazing. Just to flex some more, I can shake a Windows title bar to instantly clear all others or just flick to the bottom right to show my desktop. And that's just the desktop section of this app. Under system, there is a built-in clipboard manager I can simply summon with Windows plus V and so much more. By the way, if you end up enjoying this video, subscribe because why not? Moving on to a tool that has slowly turned into a must-have for me, Recall. This is an AI-powered app that turns everything I read, watch, or listen to into a personal knowledge base. Think YouTube videos, PDFs, podcasts, websites, you name it, even my own notes. Recall saves everything I care about through a browser extension, a web app, and a mobile version as well. Something I already covered in how I use one app to remember everything episode. Now, just recently, Recall got a massive upgrade called Chat with Knowledge Base. It lets me have full on conversations with my own saved content, which to me, was the feature I was missing the most. Say I've been researching cars, for example. I can ask Recall to connect the dots across videos, papers, and podcasts to help me find the answer I was looking for, instantly, synthesized. Imagine a version of you that never forgets the important stuff. Everything gets auto-categorized, so I can just type, ask, and recall on demand. It's easily the smartest upgrade to recall yet, and that is why it made this list. You can learn more about recall in my full episode and try it now at getrecall.ai with code this is e 25 for 25% off. Bringing back some macOS vibes here, I have to give credit to Files. This is a $10 app that's absolutely worth it in my book. It's the perfect blend of Windows File Explorer and macOS Finder. For starters, I get proper multi-window tabbing and archive control just like in both worlds. But on top of that, and paired with its beautiful clean UI comes something I've always missed on Windows folder size calculation. It also gives me proper file preview panel on the right showing both images and videos along with detailed size and resolution information. There is clean, easy access to my cloud services like OneDrive and Google Drive, a handy path bar, and of course, full control over the experience thanks to a huge range of settings, including themes. By the way, remember how I hit the recycle bin from the desktop? Well, it now lives in the Files app sidebar, which 
of course, is fully customizable. An invaluable companion to files and one that also works in the regular Windows Explorer is a free little tool called Quick Look. This is probably the Mac OS feature I've missed the most on Windows. With Quick Look, I can finally tap the spacebar on any file, photo, video, or document, you name it, and get an instant preview without opening it in a separate app like Paint. And the best part is that it works beautifully with videos too, letting me scrub freely through the timeline right from the preview. Now, if you want to temporarily save some cash and try something quite nuts, actually, I have a proposal that came in on X from a viewer for an app called File Pilot. Now, this thing is probably the fastest file explorer I have tried on Windows. And what surprises me the most is the searching capability. So if I look for something, I immediately get the results right away. And I can do all sorts of crazy things like grabbing tabs and organizing them in different panes. It is absolutely fantastic, but this Thing is in beta so once it's live it will start at around 40 bucks if I'm not mistaken if you get the early bird version so keep that in mind but in the meantime you can test it yourself never sleep is probably the smallest and simplest app on this list and it does exactly what its name suggests it keeps windows awake which for me is surprisingly handy when we are filming for example i need to make sure the devices in front of the camera don't dim or fall asleep and this little helper comes in clutch sure i could tweak windows settings to do the same but that means digging through menus and disabling power saving features i might actually want outside work. With something free like Never Sleep, which works only when it's active, I can keep the system awake only when I need it, whether that's during long exports, big file transfers, presentations, or live demos. Too close, move back a little bit. Now, alternatively to Never Sleep, you can install Windows's Power Toys, which you can think of like Samsung's Good Lock. It's a tinkering tool officially by Microsoft. And there under system tools is the alternative to never sleep called Awake. It is fantastic. And this is actually the place where I found my favorite color picker, which I can activate by pressing Windows Shift and C and achieve something like this Windows Shift C. And I have a color picker, which I can use on top of any Windows. And this again came courtesy of you guys on social media and I'm super grateful. And I'm yet to actually go through all these additional you know, options that I can play with in this app. On a more privacy related topic, ONO Shut Up is an app that was recommended to me by my friend Dimitri from Hardware Canucks. It's a free little powerhouse that gives me control over the parts of Windows that Microsoft would rather key buried the settings. Think of it as a clean, no nonsense dashboard for privacy and background activity mostly. Upon making any changes with it, I am prompted to do a system restore point should I want to go back to the defaults at any point. After that, I can toggle off telemetry, block apps from quietly collecting data, stop location tracking, and disable all those helpful suggestions Windows likes to throw in my face. Everything is laid out in a plain language, so I'm not guessing what a setting does or digging through endless menus. Next up is Blip, an app I've praised many times before and for a good reason. It's one of those small utilities that quietly becomes indispensable. Think of it as AirDrop, but for every platform. I have it on all my devices, Windows, Macs, iPhones, Androids, and I can send anything I want as fast as my internet connection allows it. I can even transfer files directly to people I've added to my list who also have Blip, which is just brilliant. What really sets Blip apart is the ability to resume interrupted transfers exactly where they left off. And because it's internet-based, I'm not limited by proximity. I can blip someone on the other side of the world just as easily as if they were sitting next to me. Drop Shelf is another one of those small but incredibly useful apps, especially for dealing with Windows's frustrating drag and drop limitations. Let me give you an example. If I want to drop an image into Affinity Photo, like in the menu down there, either as a new document or as a layer, I can't do it directly. I have to keep the app open, juggle windows so that my files app or Windows Explorer stays visible and on top and then make sure I drag it. And this hassle isn't limited to affinity, it pops up in plenty of other situations too. And this is where Drop Shelf comes in. 
it acts as a temporary holding area for files. I can drag an image or a document or even multiple items, give them a little shake, and the shelf appears. From there, I can stash them safely while I navigate to my destination, and when I'm ready, just drop them in. Now let me do a quick roundup of honorable mentions that I've been enjoying recently. Now for some odd reason, by default, I cannot display the Windows' battery life and the system tray. So for that, I have installed a little app called Battery Percentage Pure Battery Add-on. It is exactly what you can think of. It's a little app that shows up the percentage of the computer, which I can drag over to the tray here and have a clear view of how much battery life I have left. Now, the cool thing here is that this thing lights up green when the computer is charging or red if the battery life goes beyond a certain percent. I think it's like 30%. It's very handy and it gives me the perfect glance of the Surface's battery life. Fluent Weather is a free, clean and minimal weather app that gives me exactly what I need at a glance. Current conditions, hourly forecast and a detailed look at the days ahead without drowning me in clutter or ironically ads. Screenbox is a minimal modern looking media player that taps into the power of VLC to handle virtually any video format. It's fast, responsive and gets straight to the point. One feature that I use constantly when prepping social media posts is the ability to save the current frame, essentially grabbing a clean screenshot of exactly where I pause on the video without any UI clutter on top of it. Ambi is another free app that I genuinely enjoy to its fullest. It's a beautifully designed white noise app that helps me create the perfect sound environment. The built-in library is full of high quality ambient sounds from gentle rain and rolling ocean waves to comforting hum of a coffee shop. If I'm using noise canceling headphones and I want to zone out without feeling, you know, completely isolated, those coffee shop vibes come in pretty clutch. The thing that's really unique here is the ability to mix sounds which is something I've never seen before in a white noise app. Now, since we're talking about Windows apps, something that I recently learned is uh, actually a command in the terminal. So if I type in winget update, I get to see all the installed apps that are pending an update, meaning that I have the current version of, of the app available on the computer and the one that is available online, but it's not updated too. So, Imagine doing this when get update dash dash all instead of having to go through each individual app to manually update it. It's going to go through the packages and it's going to start installing each individual update and trigger the update windows if necessary, saving you a lot of steps. Google Chrome installer, Notion update. It takes care of pretty much anything and it gives you that, you know, hacker vibe a little bit. So pretty cool. Now, if you live between the Mac and Windows worlds like I do, I strongly recommend checking out my 10 must have free Mac apps episode right here. Unlike this episode, that video takes some of the Windows strengths and brings them over to the Mac world to get the most out of it. Like and subscribe to the channel as well as my newsletter. And as always, it's been an absolute pleasure. This is E. Over and out.